Christina C.K. Curley is here. She is a world-renowned mobile expert. <laughs> no pressure. She speaks okay. at events all the time, big Fortune 500 companies, on Van Name Drop, GE, Microsoft, Johnson & Johnson, among others. She's also an adjunct professor at Rutgers University. Uh, hang on her every word. It's going to change uh, the way you look at your business and how to market it. Um, and right before we get into her presentation. No video. Okay. 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 So we're good. And can I have that clicker? Because yeah. I'm going to need it. There First off, a big hand for Justin <laughs> and Johnny. Uh, good morning, good morning, and thank you for the great intro. Um, yes, I do a lot in emerging technology, and I've started really, really early on, like I started with Web 1.0 in 1995. I've been blogging since 05. I've been in mobile since 99. So I'm basically an octogenarian in this space. So I'm doing pretty good at 80 years of, of age, I would say. But all those good Fortune 500s and wonderful events aside, I'm just a really big geek who's really passionate about what she does. And these are passionate times. You know, most times, marketers and businesses, we wait for one amazing technology every 20 years. It could have been that the technology that defined our generation would have been gasp the facts. But no, we get digital, social, and mobile within 15 years. Johnny talked about how historic these times are, and he's right. And a lot's being thrown at us, but a lot of innovation. And here's the thing, it levels playing fields. And if I, as a small business, of under five employees can leverage these technologies to move the needle, to move into new territory, then any business, any size can. Before I jump in, because I've got a lot to cover today, show of hands, who here, show of hands, has already Facebooked today? Okay, keep your hands up. Who here has, in addition to Facebooking, tweeted? Keep your hands up. Who here has, in addition to Facebooking and tweeting, blogged today? Who here has used their mobile device to make a call, check the time, set an alarm, or send a text today? Who here has used their mobile device? That's what I thought. Guys, social and mobile work beautifully together, but we are in a time where we're seeing the most sweeping media of all time. There are more mobile subscriptions than TVs, PCs and landlines in the world combined. And just FYI, mobile didn't really come about until 3G and 4G and that kind of broadband for us, and yet we have that many mobile subscriptions, and it's already the most sweeping set of media. So what we're doing here today is educating you, not just on social, not just on mobile, but how they can dovetail beautifully together. A few things before I get started. I say meet your mobile planet. This changes everything. You know, we marketers, we just love to say things like a revolution is coming or this changes everything or this time it's personal. But this time I really mean it and I can really make the case. Why? As we sit and stand here right now, over half the planet, over half the planet, 5 billion. Anyone know how many actual human beings are on this big round ball we call planet Earth? 6.8, 6.9. 5 billion mobile subscriptions. Now, they might not all have a nifty iPhone 4 like I've got over there, but they do have feature phones. I'm telling you, 5 billion must be really nice to be on Apple's executive board, eh? In the first three quarters since iPads launch. And understand that iPad, that's a mobile technology. And what's most important to understand, when Steve Jobs took the stage in 2010, he didn't say, we've got a great new product. He said, Apple is no longer a computing devices company. We are a mobile computing devices company. iPod, iPad, iPhone, and that's just Apple. The point to understand is, the way all things will go is mobile. It already is. Is it even thinkable to you that you would not be able to check your email when you're traveling or pull up mobile websites? No. And yet we've only had this technology in the last few years. 
Five billion apps downloaded. Anyone here um, downloaded any apps in the last, say, three months, three weeks, three days? There you go. Apple and Blackberry and Droid, thank you for that. I'm telling you, young, old, retired, professional, everyone is mobile. Compared to mobile's numbers, the most watched television event in history, remember when the New Orleans Saints took it and what a Cinderella story that was? 106 million viewers, 5 billion mobile subscriptions. Do you have any idea what advertisers pay for 30 seconds during a four hour period? Anyone want a gander? At least a million bucks. And here we have tools for 5 billion. So definitely not 5 billion, you don't want to go ahead and get everyone, but you can target your audience. Facebook, he even got a movie. He got Times Person of the Year, and you know what? Big respect. 700 million view users, and out of those, 200 million alone, access Facebook how? On their nifty, magical mobile devices. You know what the killer app is in mobile? Facebook for iPhone. Twitter for Droid. Because now that we have these social networks, why would we want to be remote from them when we're not at our PCs? It's unthinkable to us. We can check in every day. Only 1.7 billion people that are on the internet worldwide, and yet there's five billion mobile subscriptions. That much a part of our culture. Even Barbie has an iPhone now. And you know, God bless her, she still has an incredibly unattainable figure, but see how they smartened her up? She's got flats going on, she's got the cool tech chic and all that geekness with her glasses. Even Barbie has an iPhone. It's that much a part of our culture. Mary Meeker says we're in the early innings of a massive phenomenon. We have never seen a media been so sweeping, so widely adopted, so gaga over mobile in the history of all mankind. The numbers, like I said, are mind-blowing. Right now, 60 million smartphones just in the U.S., in 2015, 110 million. 100% growth rate just for tablets alone for this year. And do you know what all of my uh, colleagues keep saying to me? They saying I, I am being grossly conservative on that number, and it's at least 200 to 300%. I said 100% is darn good though, right? So I may be amending that slide. And remember, it's not just smartphones. It's also tablets and whatever's coming next. Amount of the U.S. workforce that's currently mobile, 72%. Amount of decision makers that read email on their mobile devices, 64%. Who here has read email on their mobile device before? Who here has accessed it? Who here, keep your hands up, has read a really, really long email on their mobile device? Keep your hands up. Who here likes reading a really, really long email? Yeah, we marketers, we just love to send out those e-newsletters. And yet, we're not even thinking enough when our e-newsletters go out to say at the top, for a mobile optimized version, click here. And yet, we ourselves have been using e-newsletters for the last 10 years, and we ourselves hate getting long, long emails. I don't want to care to guess when an SMS, or as we know, a text alert comes through, how long it takes for the average, on average, for that to be read, how long it takes. Throw out a figure. 10 seconds, not quite there yet, but a good figure. Three minutes. Do you know how long our marketing e-newsletters sit in our prospects box before they're read, or maybe not deleted altogether? Folks, it's well over three days. Over 95% of texts are read, dot, 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 and read within three minutes of receipt. And the reason being is because you know anything happening on your mobile phone is a priority. You know that's important. Show of hands, who here, just since we started this session today, has checked their mobile phone while we've been talking? Good going. You're proving my point. I love it. Oh, in this session, text, tweet, multitask all you want. I'm a big advocate of that. Do you know how many cell phones are left in uh, New York City cabs every six months? Because I know 
Because I'm part of that statistic as of last Thursday. I left mine in a New York City cab. Show of hands here, who has lost a mobile device and had to replace it at least once? Those who are not raising their hand, I tell you, you're amateurs unless you've lost at least one mobile device. Just in six months alone, 31,000 just in New York City cabs, not just New York City, just in New York City cabs, 31,000, doesn't include laptops. I'm still trying to get the city of New York, do I have a water? Thank you. I'm still trying to get the city of New York to allow me into like their tech cell phone graveyard so I can get some footage and do a great YouTube video of it because how many phones if there's 31,000 every six months? Welcome, welcome. We're talking mobile. Okay, killer app in mobile. People want to access their social networks. Year over year, just in checking Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, all those, year over year, 240% increase. Of all the time spent on the mobile web, accessing the web through your mobile device, 60% of that time is spent social networking. So much to Justin's point and to Johnny's point, you need to be in social media, but understand mobile is the biggest shot in the arm for social media and vice versa. Killer app in mobile, it's social. This is a big stat I want you guys to bring home with you because this is really important. Between 2013, two and a half years from now, and 2015, the most frequent way, it's called a first screen access, that all users all over the world will access the web is through mobile devices. It won't be through those pretty 15 inch, 17 inch screens where you have those great sites with all those bells and whistles and sub navs and the like. It's gonna be through here. Show of hands, who here has a mobile optimized website? Okay, I'm, I'm surprised the figure's that big. You already have, you should be tracking where your users are coming from and if they're looking through, they're, they're accessing you through a mobile device and you'll be amazed year over year how that grows. Everyone needs a mobile optimized website. Not everyone needs an app. Not having a mobile optimized website in 2011, here you go, it's akin to not having a regular website in the year 2000, okay? Now, as if Google really needed any more money, guess what? Their really big revenues are coming because of the mobile web. Why? When we're on our way to the CVS, when we're on our way to the movie theater, when we're on our way to retail, we want to check to see products. We want to check to see prices. We want to check to see directions. <coughs> and guess how we're doing that? We're searching. We're searching through our mobile phone. One of the most important things small businesses can do is to make sure their SEO, search engine optimization, is all set on local, local searches. Why? Because when I'm looking in my mobile device for certain products and services, I'm looking for local. That's an imperative in the mobile environment. I say in, in the technology Lollapalooza that has been the last decade, Social and, and digital are the warm-up acts to the headliner that's mobile, because we really ain't seen nothing yet. Not when you're talking five billion subscriptions. And I say that mobile is igniting a revolution. And the reason I say this is not because of these nifty screens and really cool new devices. And believe me, I have invested in them time and time over and getting the latest iPhone and getting the latest Droid and getting the latest iPad. Those are just the screens. What mobile is doing is it's changing our expectations, our preferences, our habits, and our thresholds. And when I say our, I mean our society. And when I say our society, I mean our customers. And if our customers are changing, if our customers are accessing us through mobile devices, if our customers need for us to serve their needs, then we need to be understanding just how our society is truly changing. So I want to give some insight on this because this is the biggest takeaway on mobile because it's a permanent, permanent shift. And I say how mobile changes us.